All new at 11 now, families across the state are grappling with the impact of COVID-19. That includes the family of a man who was murdered in St. Pete in January. ABC Action News reporter Haley Bull explains their message as they wait for justice and hope for the recovery. My mom has always been a strong person. Linda Young knows her mom is strong, but now she says her mom is battling COVID-19 inside a St. Petersburg nursing home. I just pray that God doesn't take my mama too. <laughs> he already took my brother. She already lost her brother in January. He would be your best friend in two seconds. Police say Scott Jenks was beaten to death. They later arrested a suspect for the murder. Now his sister is waiting for justice when the pandemic is impacting the courts. It's horrible, it keeps dragging on. And home. I know it's part of the dementia, but I think it's gotta be part of the virus too, to where she has just, it looks like she's fading away. And I can't stop it. I can't even go give her a hug or kiss or nothing. A spokesperson for the facility, Bon Secours Maria Manor, says they're encouraging alternative ways to connect, including virtually. At last check, the facility has 13 residents who've tested positive and nine staff members self-isolating. The state's data on deaths in long-term care facilities shows there have been 253 in Pinellas County, 144 in Hillsborough, and 110 in Polk. I wouldn't know what to do if I lost her too. I just I keep praying that she will get through this and I can finally go hug her. The Agency for Healthcare Administration says officials are, quote, actively evaluating the safest approach to reopening our long-term care facilities to family and friends. The state of Florida wants to ensure the health, safety, and well-being of long-term care residents as we work to resume visitation. While Young deals with loss and illness with her loved ones, she says she hopes others take value of their own families. There's no guarantee of tomorrow. In St. Petersburg, Haley Bull, ABC Action News.